Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to disable unnecessary uh, services in Windows 10. Now quite a few people wanted to see uh, this version so what I'm going to do is go over some of the services that I disable and you have to decide whether these services are okay to disable for your needs. So that's what we're going to go through here and try and cover as much as we can. Now remember some of these services may be required for your own PC so don't go disabling everything you need to read here. This is to do with the Bluetooth audio device and wireless headphones. If you don't use that service then you can disable it but if you do use Bluetooth or wireless headphones then leave this service well alone. Now we do have others here like BitLocker Drive Encryption Service if you don't want to uh, use BitLocker Drive Encryption Service, you can then go inside here by double clicking on it and you can then disable it. If you do use BitLocker, i.e. encrypting your drive, then leave it alone. Don't touch it, okay? And this is the problem with uh, service lists on the internet that tell you to disable certain types of services. You'll go and disable them and, of course, that item may not work properly which you need i.e. print spooler and things like that you can see we have clipboard user service here if you don't use clipboard user service then you can disable it if you do use clipboard then don't touch it it's as simple as that you have to work out what your requirements are this one I've already disabled this is a telemetry type of service so you can see here I've already disabled that and that's a, a given obviously you don't want telemetry collected on your PC so I would disable those types of services when it come down the list here I'm just gonna go backwards and forwards because it's very difficult to go through here and pick them out randomly but this one's another diagnostic policy service which I've already disabled so I would disable this one because it's collecting data and sending it back and I don't need it to do that you can see by the description what it tells you it does it uh, enables uh, problem detection, troubleshooting and uh, resolution for Windows components. It doesn't fix it, it just basically sends data back to Microsoft. Remote desktop configuration, again if you're not using that service you can set this to disable, apply and OK or you could just click OK, it's entirely up to you. So moving on again to this service here, this is remote desktop service, I'm going to disable that one because I'm not going to be using it. Again, if you're using it, leave it alone. And you can read this description here. It gives you all the information about all of these services like Remote Registry. I've already disabled this one. So if you're not using Remote Registry, then you can disable that feature there. And again, we've got um, Routing and also Remote Access. I've also uh, disabled Secondary Logon. This enables administrators to log on with a non-administrator account and perform administrator tasks. I've disabled that feature on there. You can read all of the description there. Also, we've got Shared PC Account Manager here. I've also gone ahead and disabled that uh, service. If you want to leave yours on, you can do, but that's one I've disabled. Again, make sure you read all of the description there to make sure whether you need it or not. Again, this one provides support for applications and OS uh, settings roaming, and this is for user experience virtualization service. I've disabled that one as well. So next up we've got the Windows Insider service. This is to uh, enable the Windows Insider program. If you're not into the Windows Insider program and you don't want to use it, you can double click on it and disable it and this will then disable that service. If you do want to join the Insider program for Windows and get early uh, versions of Windows releases, then by all means you can leave that enabled and join that program and uh, Basically, you'll be able to enter it because you've got the service running. But personally, I don't want to, and I've uh, disabled that service. So let's move on down, uh, see what we've got here for other services. Now, we've got all these Xbox ones here. If you don't use these, you can double click on them and stop the service and also disable them if you wish. But if you do use the Xbox features built into Windows 10, then leave these alone. You need to leave these enabled, otherwise it won't work. Again, if you don't use them, turn them off. Simple as that. So I'm going to disable my ones because I don't use these features and I'm going to quickly go in here and disable these. And uh, let me just quickly disable these last few here and you can see there's four of them there. So I'm just going to quickly disable those ones. So that's those disabled. Again, we can move on up uh, to some other ones here. I'm just going to scroll through here 
and see what else we've got to disable. Now this next one is going to be debatable whether you need it or not. This is called Windows Mobile Hotspot Service. This provides the ability to share a mobile data connection with another device. So if you want to do that, then leave that service on. Uh, but I'm going to turn this off. And this is what makes uh, disabling services so difficult and putting a list up because some people may need that service. And of course, you're telling people to basically disable it and they may need it. And then all of a sudden, their PC is not working correctly because you've just told them to disable a service. So next up, we have the uh, retail demo service. Now, the retail demo service is generally used by retailers and vendors to run uh, the PC in demo mode to showcase the operating system but again I'm not going to be using that so I'm going to uh, disable that feature. Now the print spooler is for your printer so if you are running uh, the printer on your PC then leave this running. You'll see a lot of uh, services online that tell people to disable that then their printer's not working correctly. Now, sometimes people tell you to disable offline files, and this is going to be if your PC is connected to a local network and you often access network files or folders uh, both in offline and online mode. So this service must be left on if you do that, okay? So if you are one of those people, leave it alone. Don't turn it off, otherwise you're going to end up losing that feature, which can be a bit troublesome. So just leave that alone. So let's move on to um, another area here where we can look at so here's another one I've seen online called File History Service. If you don't use this File History Service, this is your backup location. If you don't use it, you can disable it. Okay, I don't use it, so I've got my own backup methods. So if I don't use it, I'm going to disable it. But if you do use that service, then leave it on. Okay, so it's entirely up to you, but uh, I don't use that feature, so I will be disabling it. Now moving on to the geolocation service, if you don't use this, then you can disable it. Now personally, I don't want uh, my geolocation on there, so I do disable that service. But if you do use things like the weather, then you might want to leave geolocation service on and things like that. Again, device management wireless application protocol, um, I've disabled that, that feature. Now this next one is the on screen display uh, touch keyboard uh, which you can disable now i don't use this feature and yet it's built into windows 10 i can imagine it will be useful to some people but i don't use it and uh, if you don't know what that is it's basically that on screen display keyboard uh, that you get um, so basically like this this is what it is here so this will be your on screen display keyboard if you use this feature then leave that service running as soon as you stop that service that won't work anymore I don't use it so I'm going to turn this to disabled and turn it off now if you want to leave it as manual or anything like that you can do but personally I'm just going to disable because I don't use it now there's a whole bunch of Bluetooth stuff here if you don't use the Bluetooth services then uh, on your main PC you can disable these I do use them so I will leave those enabled uh, for my computer but if you don't use them then by all means you can disable the Bluetooth features on there uh, volume shadow copy is another one some people don't use uh, the system restores on here so if you use system restore then leave volume shadow copy enabled and running if you don't then you can disable that uh, service because most people don't use uh, S system restore um, points anymore they just uh, have it disabled by default so if you don't want to use it by all means go ahead and disable that I'm leaving mine on because I do use it so I'm just pointing that out to you just in case uh, you want to have a go at removing that from your system. So let's move on down to here. Now, obviously, you've got all the Windows Defender stuff here. If you don't use Windows Defender or any of that sort of stuff, then you can obviously disable all of these services for Windows Defender and stuff like that. I do use Windows Defender. Don't use Windows Defender Firewall, but you won't be able to uh, stop uh, that service. Let me just show you here. When I double click on this, you'll see uh, there is no way of this uh, stopping that. You probably have to uh, do it another way um, to stop that service. But I'm going to leave that as is and leave it well alone. Now, this next one is going to be debatable whether you use the uh, payments and NFC features. And I don't use that. So if you do use that uh, sort of feature and services, then leave that running. OK, but I don't use that. So I'm going to disable this and stop this service. But again, a lot of people do use that. Um, on their phones and stuff and features but I don't use that sort of uh, feature myself 
So I'm going to disable that right there. And also I can see parent controls there. I don't use those either. And I can safely go ahead and disable this one as well because I don't use parent controls on this PC. So let me go ahead and stop that. This is probably a controversial one. Windows error reporting service. All it does is reports errors to Microsoft. And uh, I'm going to disable that uh, because it doesn't actually fix anything. It just reports them and that's it. So I personally don't need uh, stuff to be reported. I just want it fixed. So and that's what I end up fixing it myself. So that's why I'm going to disable uh, that feature. Anyway, I think we'll call that done. There's a bunch of others that you can go through there. Just take your time and go through them and read the description and make sure you're not using that feature or that service and you should be good enough to uh, disable it. There's plenty of lists online to check out, so go ahead and check those out. But just be careful on what you're disabling and uh, because everyone's got different needs for their computer and there's no point me putting a full list down and then someone will put in the comment section oh you broke my pc it's not working correctly and i've had to do a fresh install you know what that's like so anyway hope this film's been useful to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day and i shall see you again real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos